<laughs> no, yes. please, dual monarchy. I'm only the HRE, please. I'm so weak. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to our Victoria 2 multiplayer story. The Holy Roman Empire is something you probably won't hear much about in Victoria 2. It's more of a Europa Universalis or Crusader King sort of thing. But there is actually a way to live out this dream in Victoria 2, and as with many other LARPing fantasies, it's contained within Divergences of Darkness. I've actually formed the Holy Roman Empire before in a campaign that I streamed, but that was the God of Cheese mod, which was completely revamped, and you could only form it after 1900 as a late game bonus. But in what I regard as the standard D DOD, which is the Zombie Freak multiplayer version, the Holy Roman Empire is one of the rarest formables you get in these multiplayer games. I did happen to be the Holy Roman Empire in these versions one time, but that was in the legendary Iberian War video and I didn't even bother showing me forming it because that campaign was a bit of a joke anyway. We saw someone else form the HRE in a proper campaign where I was streaming as Scandinavia, some of us might remember that one. Before I talk about the actual details of the HRE, how to form it and what it does, just remember to completely navel and circle that like button, subscribe if you haven't, you can join the channel membership for Spudgun Official and get many great benefits, or support me on Patreon. Thank you very much to all the people who are already supporting me on these various means. You're allowing me to enjoy a pretty comfortable life right up until the inevitable economic collapse kills us all. Now that I'm back from the amazing trip that I had, I'm looking to start a new Victoria 2 live campaign, so look out for the community posts and maybe follow me on Twitter for more details whenever that comes up. Now, the Holy Roman Empire in Victoria 2 Divergences of Darkness. It's a nation that Bohemia can form, consisting of Bohemia and all of Germany. The Holy Roman Empire can only be formed before 1848. It is an early game rush. Most Bohemias that we've seen in my main DoD campaigns have been satisfied just going for the Albions. The main difference is that the HRE will get the Danubians accepted as well. But the other big benefit is that they can eat and inherit all of the German miners instantly if they form the HRE, which takes a lot of time as the Albions. The main thing that limits the power of the HRE is that they don't get any German accepted pops until they take a decision that requires nationalism and imperialism. To form the HRE as Bohemia, you need to own, sphere or puppet all German cores. But these provinces listed here do not need to be owned, so all German cores accept these provinces. And these provinces are the Rhineland that Burgundy directly owns and Holstein. Bohemia will get the Imperial Authority Casus Belli against Scandinavia and Burgundy. Which, by the way, only unlocks after 1837. It would be really overpowered to be able to use that on day one. At the start of the game, the German spearlings are split pretty evenly between Bohemia and Burgundy, the Imperial Authority Casus Belli will transfer all of Burgundy's spearlings to Bohemia's sphere. When used against Scandinavia, the Casus Belli will release Pomerania as a Bohemian spearling and also, very importantly, don't forget this, give you Oldenburg, which is a Scandi puppet and spearling. So, to conclude, the Imperial Authority Casus Belli, which costs 25 warscore, you use that on Burgundy and Scandinavia, 50 warscore and you can form the strongest nation on Earth in 1837. Now, there's a lot of tricks that Scandinavia Scandinavia and Burgundy can do to prevent that, or they can just win the 2v2 war. There's a lot more detail to all of this, but that's the overview of the HRE formation. I'll leave all the advanced tips and tricks and all that sort of thing to whenever I play Burgundy or Bohemia on a stream or a video. For now, let's focus on the campaign that this video is about. The year is 1846. Burgundy and the dual monarchy haven't been in a war yet, but Bohemia has been in an Eastern European war against Scandinavia and taken Pomerania only so far. Burgundy released his feeling of East Frisia and ate it manually, and because it has Burgundy, Burgundian accepted pops in it, he's already cored it. And remember, that's a German core as well. Now, Bohemia is planning to attack Scandinavia with the Imperial Authority Casus Belli. Scandi will probably call Burgundy in, and Bohemia will call the dual monarchy in, and they're going to have this 2v2 war. Will Burgundy actually join this war? Well, he's got some issues at the minute. I've got some issues at the minute. Why are you joining? I guess this is going to be a 2v2 room. Yeah, I might be fucked here. My navy's way smaller. Yeah, I was. I did wonder, like, you'd have to be built up a navy. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Oh. Survive. Can we have one speed? Uh, fine. Because I'm trying to... It's lagging the hell out for me. You actually want to go to war with me? Yeah, they're not in, in the Bur same channel. With Burgundy. Oh my god, why is Burgundy in fire right now? I do not I do not know.
I'll be honest, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I, uh, that was quite badly timed for me. It's okay. Mm. Maybe an HRE run, ooh. Actually, is it too late for it? I think it's 48. Are we not doing a joint war here, Scandi, or not against oh, Well, I'm, like, gonna give up here unless you've got, like, a surprisingly big navy that you can just pull out. I don't have a big navy. What are you losing here? Holstein in Scotland? Uh, no, just Holstein. That's it. They're taking Pas de Calais, Bengal, and all the Germans. For me. Oh. Yeah, it might be a better idea just to joint war it so they can get less. Behemoth's going for HRV against me. Honestly, I thought we had a gentleman's agreement between me and DM. Like, we weren't allies, but we weren't enemies. Yeah, bro, but I thought we were was... I thought we were going to go to a gentleman's club. Listen up, is anyone in the lobby right now? No. Nope. Your parents are still in the foyer. Yo, cornflakes, are you loading? Right, cornflakes, are you loading? I am loading, yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just asked me that. <laughs> It's annoying you. Scroll down. Look what we sorry, named. What you say to yeah, he named himself. Said, I'm loading. Have you tried meeting women in lobbies? <laughs> but no. Uh, he wants land off me. You really don't think he'd want to map paint? It's Pierre. If you don't know or don't think he's gonna map paint, that's on you. I was not ready for this war. This is not winnable. So Am I still loading? Do. Okay, I added my work. I'll send it to you. Wait, no, hold it. Uh, Pierre, Pierre, are you adding? Pierre, Pierre. Why, 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 are you adding I'm gonna, anything? I'm, I'm gonna take one Scottish state instead of uh, Gujarat. Okay. Not a wholesome little burgundy. Can Have people you? stop mobilizing and demobilizing? Oh, yes. shit. Hello? Hello, hello. Are you going to stay allied to HRV then or not? Ideally until I get my goals. What's your goals? Like, what else do you want from me? Do you want me dead? No. Yes. He just no! wants me to be Scandinavia. I'm about to lose the infamy. I want to attack HRV. <laughs> you know he's in the chat, right? Rito. What? Well, there was only three of us in the chat originally, but then everyone else moved. <laughs> Why wouldn't I join yeah, this that, That's what you hear like a bling when somebody joins. Hog, do you want me to join us? Yeah. No, <laughs> yes. please, dual monarchy, I'm only the HRE, please, I'm so weak. No. Hey, don't wait, talk wait, shit does, about the hug. Does box. the HRE get any oh, 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 No, you, yes, no, you shut the fuck up and you join my hug box. Whoa, what's going on? All the Germans. Pog, 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 okay, this pog, is important. Pog, you, pog, yeah, pog. Yeah, what? Uh, this is important, do you want me to join us? Because if I do, obviously we win. But I don't want to like sort of kill the game. So I'm not. I'm not gonna take anything. Yo, what the fuck's happening? If this is a one v one, it'll be interesting to watch. I want alliances. Fuck, but tell me, if you want me to join, I can join. Go for it, join. Are we trying this? Yes. Don't, yes. don't ruin it. Oh, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Don't be a bitch. No. Yo, by the way, he's the Not HRE. Sorry. Fucking, he might lose okay, something. Okay, I'm HRE, now, but, but I'm, it, I'm basically I'm just bulking here with, with a lot of extra land. I'm, I'm gonna join for a white piece. I have to do as much damage as I can, man. Rage quit incoming. Jesus no. Christ! I'm not gonna rage quit. I just don't want. This is my only chance to actually stand up. Like you've let the HRE form. This yeah. should be where you stop. Yeah, Pierre, don't don't you gank on this motherfucker. Oh, I'm like, please. That's what I'm nah, let, let him do his thing, Pierre. Chill. You really want me in this, don't you, Pogba? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I just don't want to, like, fuck over Hunt HRV. But even if he loses a war, oh. um, HRE scales much better. So. Okay, I'm jo I'm gonna join. For no, please! Oh, I'm, I'm, sure, no. I'm sure he could do it. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck this. <laughs> They don't join! It's not that hard! Pierre, Pierre, What's Pierre, happening? What's join happening? my hug box. Burgundy, what are you taking? You uh, out in the gate? Probably the Rhinish stuff, if I have to guess. I, mean, I would like to take a hundred from this. A 
I just hopped into the HRE's chat, told him fucking I'd join the war against him if he didn't give me money. Huh. And? He gave me money. How much <laughs> money you got? Uh, he only gave me 100k, but fucking... Holy Roman Emperor arm is about to get encircled in three, two, one. There it is. HRE needs to surrender right now. He's about to lose his entire army. I don't know. Unless he can win that battle. Wait. He's I'd not say it's win possible that for him to win, but I find it unlikely. He shouldn't. No, he has a bunch of units in the back. He just has to get him forward and it's over. Burgundy doesn't really have any more troops than what's already in the battle. If he rolls well enough, he can uh, win. He surrendered. That was, well, that was good. Oh, thank god. GG's. Yeah, he had, he had a core that I didn't see, so he could choose break. What I think is great about this is that Pierre, if he wanted to, he could just like let them duke it out and just focus on Scandi yeah, for a dude, while. Yeah, dude, like fucking, you guys better appreciate this. Like, fucking, I could have just... <laughs> yeah, I do at least. Thank god. Uh, at least you do, Burgundy. At least you do. You, Marake, has unlocked the technology game balance. Oh, uh, I sent me the piece. Oh, I'm piece. literally balancing you have everything. I'm yeah, that's everything. Oh shit, Scandi got a northern farmer? He got everything back. I did liberate country. Oh! He just stole his fucking coastline. Oh shit, he's gonna get a uh, import cost increase now. Oh that's wow, shit. that's so important! Oh no! I mean, oh, it increases your shit by 150%. Oh, shit. Hey, okay, I'll, I'm basically not importing anything. I have everything I need. Oh, wait, wait, look at the HRE now! Jacobits! Now for the analysis section where we start with those two initial wars against Burgundy and Scandinavia. There aren't really any battles to analyse in these ones. The interesting thing about these wars was that since Burgundy did not join Scandinavia's call to arms, they did a separate war on Burgundy and these were unmerged in terms of war score, they got to take 200 war score in total off Scandinavia and Burgundy. That might seem insane but it's completely normal and accepted under our rules and past precedents and I agree with it. All Burgundy had to do was join Scandinavia. It would have been exactly the same except 100 war score. The dual monarchy even gave him a fair warning about it, which he didn't have to do. This allowed them to take a lot of stuff off Scandinavia and Burgundy. First of all, the dual monarchy took Scandinavia's best region, the Lowlands, then he took the region of Pas de Calais, and he probably would have taken more, but that's already 20 infamy. Bohemia used imperial authority against Burgundy and Scandinavia. All that did against Scandi was give Bohemia Oldenburg as a spherling, but against Burgundy he took all the German spherlings. He then did acquire state for Holstein, which isn't necessary for forming the HRE by the way, and lastly he didn't forget to take East Frisia. And that's it, he could have formed the HRE off of only 100 war score, but he got 200 to play with. Now speaking of East Frisia, that is the Burgundian core against the newly formed HRE that he used to truce break on them. So Burgundy came in with this shocking move and steamrolled the HRE before they were able to consolidate all the new brigades they could build, or to get any of the German pops accepted, they only had Bohemian accepted, which means they still have a small mobilisation pool. In the peace deal, Burgundy took his core, East Frisia, he acquired state on Hanover, and he liberated country Scandinavia, which 
which gave back two Scandinavian regions, Pomerania and Holstein. The Liberate Country was a very effective use of infamy and war score, and it gave his ally a good boost. All in all, they took about 1,300,000 pops off the HRE, which is a dent, but it's by no means crippling at all. They're struggling now, they have a few rebel problems, but they've got a truce for five years, and the enemies have no way of truce breaking on them again. How Burgundy and Scandinavia can follow up on this victory depends on the diplomacy. Would the dual monarchy just sit there and allow Burgundy and Scandinavia to partition the HRE? It's really not in his interest to allow this to happen, even if the dual monarchy and HRE are ridiculously overpowered, especially with their accepted pops later. But now turning to some of the diplomacy before this happened, Burgundy seemed really confused as to why the dual monarchy decided to go to war with him, thinking they had some kind of deal. This deal allowed him to get through the first 10 years of the game and the first session without fighting any devastating wars that might cripple his country. He used this time to build up the strongest Burgundy we've ever seen. Sorry, I'm being a bit too harsh to be honest. And he asked the dual monarchy a few times, what land do you want off me? Well, he should have done his own research and known that the dual monarchy can get the cores on two specific Burgundian regions one of which the DM took in the war in this video, and the other one he might take later. These two regions are also very important for the dual monarchy getting his accepted pops and avoiding the civil war events. I always tell people no matter what another country says, cores never lie, and land that they might need off you for certain things, it never lies. They might want to remain peaceful with you when it's in their interest and they're weaker than you, but as soon as they're stronger or in a better position, they might come after it. I mean, it's Burgundy and the dual monarchy, them allying in DoD is really unusual and awkward for the game balance, of course they're going to fight at some point. And although Burgundy got his very nice win against the Holy Roman Empire, let's face it, he's still in a terrible position. The dual monarchy and the HRE are going to scale extremely well into the mid and late game and Burgundy and Scandi are in terrible positions. There isn't going to be any assistance from the Eastern European countries that border the HRE, Poland, Lithuania, Hungary. They are all very busy fighting in the no guy related wars. And Aragon Italy is not going to fight the dual monarchy because they gave us the Italian feelings we need to form it. You will see future videos of how this Holy Roman Empire situation develops, don't worry. There will be a lot more videos out of this campaign which is pretty much becoming a sort of series or cinematic universe a bit like Hungary. I did originally intend for all the videos out of this campaign to be completely independent stories. I might take them out of the Victoria 2 stories playlist and make their own playlist. We'll also see more of my Aragon Italy in this campaign and more of the legendary No Guy Horde ruled by Virtual Rock. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, hit the like button and all that and I'll see you for the next video, bye.